All right, hi, hi, Dino Pants, Handyman Zone. I'm all sweaty because I was just outside doing something, but then we came in here and the issue with this, and this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, bathroom. Let me just show you, beautiful. This is the guest room. Beautiful view. This is the tip of uh, Sands Point, looking towards uh, west, towards Manhattan. But that, the other side there, that's Great Neck. Um, all right, so the deal, the deal with this is, okay, see so how the handle, and you'll find a lot of uh, faucets, these uh, two-handle faucets getting this way, and the reason is, is it's not tight to, and this little cap here, this one unscrews. Some of them pop off, you like, you get your fingernail under there and they pop off. This is sterling silver finish. I mean, I, if you put a wrench or a pair of pliers on this, you would totally screw it up. So you want to make every effort you can to get these little trim pieces off without scratching anything. So this one screws off. There's a little screw underneath that screws into the middle of the screw that holds the handle. The sink. So as people keep shutting it off, now what I did was to check that uh, I took the handle off. Now every sink's gonna, the handles are gonna come off different ways. So this one just happened to have this bottom part on screws and then there's a little cap like, like this has the cap, there's a little cap that comes off and then there's a screw you undo and the handle comes off. And what I did is I put a wrench on this and make believe, and you see I could just keep turning and turning because underneath the sink, this is not tight to the sink so every time they turn it off it moves a little bit more towards the wall. So what I'm gonna do is go underneath and I want, first thing I wanna check is hoses under there aren't kinked from getting moved like that so let me just turn upside down here and just show you guys okay so we're looking at this here up and I want to make sure that these hoses haven't been kinked from that turning and also this pipe could start leaking because it's turning up there so what I want to do is get that nut up there and I want to tighten it like a quarter turn and what I'm going to use is what they call a basin wrench these are like 20 bucks at uh, home supply or plumbing supply and it allows you to get up under something like this pencil sink or any force it'll let you get up to that nut and um, so it's extendable I could make it longer and again I'm doing this one-handed so but it allows you to get up in there and, um, and get a hold of that nut but let's see if I can show you guys Okay, so I can like get what I'm dealing with here. So, okay, so I'm up in there and I'm on that nut, and then I can, oh, what I get for three hands. All right, so I'm on that nut, and I'm just giving. Okay, so that's what I'm done tightening that way. I'm gonna put the camera down and, and give it like a nice snug it up. But then we want to check that it's not leaking here, and we want to check it's not leaking here, because as you're doing that, you could, uh, or because it was twisting, it could have stressed these connections, and you could be, and if they were leaking, you'd try just tightening these up a quarter turn or something, just snug them up and see if they stop leaking. And again, make sure this hose isn't kinked. If it is, try to straighten everything out. Then, then, then we can come up here, and because this handle, is indexed on the spline, we can put it on straight, okay? Because you can really put it in position one, but you make sure it's in the off, in the off, the quarter turn cartridge, so we make sure it's in the off, and then we just put that on straight to match, and then put your trim back on it, and you're okay. So the, the real deal is the nut underneath that I showed you, it needs tightening, so <clears throat> this becomes secure. Now it's okay, it doesn't move. So actually push on it and the whole thing doesn't move. And, and make sure you close the drain because if you slip and drop this and it goes down the drain, you just make more nightmare for yourself. If you can't close the drain, put a rag over it. All right, our job here is done. We're just gonna double check that nothing's leaking under here by putting your dry fingers and feeling all the pipes is nice and dry. Check the floor, there's no water. Everything's good, let's go collect. What is this? whole music system in the guest bathroom. We got four light switches for a little powder room. Oh, and look at that beautiful architectural influence of the round window, like a porthole looking out onto the, onto the water. 
the video is over, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for that. Um, we're, we're like right at almost a million views right at this time. Uh, this is like August 8th, 2013. Within the next, if it hasn't happened already, within the next day or two, I'm going to be a million views on the Handyman Zone. Thank everybody for that. The video is over, so rate it, whatever you think. And the comment box is there for you guys to use. So.